Welcome Pete McLeod to the Loft in Greenock. Thank you. Um, it's wonderful to have you here Pete. Um, I had your gig on Saturday 30th of January. Um, just a wee insight obviously for the people of Greenock and Inverclyde. Um, Pete will be the first um, previously signed artist to play um, the Loft. Um, he's a great singer-songwriter, uh, signed to Alan McGee's management and previously signed to 359 Music, Cherry Red, uh, which his debut album, um, Rolling Stone, was released in November 2013 on. So, how are you, Pete? Good. Hey, good. Well. Hi, how are you doing all right? Good, I'm good, thank you. A few questions, Julie, Pete, just to kind of give people a wee bit of an insight into your music and, um, and where you're at musically. If you want to tell us a wee bit about your musical journey so far. Um, well, my musical journey so far has brought me to Greenock to play here on the 30th of January. That'll be my first gig in 2016. Um, shortly before that, uh, I toured with the Happy Mondays and uh, played with the Jesus and Mary chain in Edinburgh. So, yeah, pretty much I think you covered it there. Um, I've been doing music now for probably about 20 years as a songwriter and uh, performing as well and uh, I love it just like everybody else that, that plays music you know it's the same passion you know it's great and um, you played obviously with a lot of great artists and so on over the years and you know um, lived in California for a period of time as well um, what was the kind of music scene there like um, as well and you know working with other kind of artists is that kind of um, you know brought a bit of inspiration to your own music as well um, well it was a Living in California was a different life experience, you know. Um, I didn't, I didn't solely do it for music, but obviously, uh, by being creative and being around other creative people, you kind of, you kind of take some things from them, like you're saying in California. You know, it's a different culture altogether. You know, um, I like the sunshine, so it was good for writing and and, uh, and just kind of hanging about with people, um, musicians and, and creative, uh, like-minded folk. As I said, but um, yeah, I mean, it was a different headspace for me. You know, I went to Ibiza last year for the first time as well, and uh, yeah, it's all, it's all good. It's all just life experiences, really, and then that comes out uh, hopefully in my music as well. You know, signed to Alan over the creation management. Um, um, how did that? How did that all come around, then, Pete? Um, well, you mentioned California. I was living there at the time, and. Uh, I'd met Alan in Sunset Boulevard. Um, he was staying out there for, I think, six months at the time, uh, doing business. And uh, we had a meeting together, and uh, that was the first time we met, really. And we kind of struck up a friendship from that point. Um, I think he was retiring from the music industry and taking a break. Um, and... Uh, yeah, I just kind of encouraged him to, to not take that break, I think, you know, and it, it turns out, you know, that he's, he's kind of back in the industry now and he's doing what he loves, he has a passion for. Um, I think he's a bit of a national treasure for, for music from the, from Scotland, you know, mm -hmm. and for the UK. So for me, it made sense to be involved with someone um, that I respected musically and, uh, you know, just as much as it is for anyone like yourself listening to, to music that I put out, you know, mm -hmm. um, uh, or Alan even puts out now with me uh, together. But uh, it was a big thing uh, to, to be involved with Alan for me. And, you know, now Alan supports me as a friend and, and supports my art as well, if I can call it that. So of course. It's, a, it's a good uh, friendship we have, you know, and now we work together. So it's, uh, yeah, it's good. Uh, it's important to have someone to believe in you uh, and obviously to believe in yourself as well because then, you know, some some doubt can creep in you while you're doing music, you know. But sure. music should, it should be fun, right, you know. So it's good to work with people that you enjoy working with. Sure. You know? You just came back to obviously doing the, the songs for the new album with, with youth. Um, you, did, you went to Spain to record quite a bit of that as well. Yeah. That must have been quite an experience as well. It's good. Um, before I got uh, to your studio in Granada, uh, Boy George was in my bed, <laughs> but uh, he wasn't literally physically lying in my bed waiting for me okay. to to go and give him a hug or anything like that. Sure. He was actually <laughs> sleeping. Uh, he was actually sleeping in in the same room uh, 
Youth Studios got like different kind of rooms. I watched the them. documentary yeah. on it, so I did this. It's, it's interesting. It was an right? amazing experience to, to do that, you know, uh -huh. and uh, I spent a week out there and I just found it was funny that Boy George was in the same bed as me before I got there, you know. <laughs> sure. Did he not leave a hat for you? <laughs> he didn't, no, he didn't uh -huh. leave a, he could leave his hat on, you sure. know, sure. maybe you could leave your hat on. Um, no, but I, I found that quite, it was quite a bit of a, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not a massive culture club fan or anything sure. like that, you know, but I just it's kept... A it's a trip, what you think? No, exactly. Uh, well, it's been and Pink Floyd, you know, you know. You, you've just finished the record with Pink Floyd as well, and Dave, Dave Gilmore and stuff, and uh, on, on the wall there's records of the Urban Hymns for the Verve. These are reasons why, you know, I got into music, sure. you know, um, with the Verve. I really enjoyed that, uh, going to Granada, and, and I had a good time with youth and the team, and... Uh, it was a spiritual experience, really, really spiritual and fun, and yeah, it was, it was like a sponge, you know, just absorbing it sure, all. You know. sure. It was great. It was great. So obviously, been part of the creation management um, a kind of circle as such. But there's got to be a few stories that you've heard over the years, I'm sure. Um, maybe some of them are not 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 for Aaron, you know. But um, uh, one of the things that kind of kept my mind was as well on the first album, um, you had asked Noel to play on the album, I've been involved a wee bit on it. I did, I, I, I I'd contacted uh, Noel to, to be on the first album, uh -huh. but he was uh, on holiday <laughs> for a year, right. so, um, and uh, he obviously wasn't on the album, so, uh -huh. um, but I, I, did, I did write a song um, for... Uh, for this album, for Liam, uh -huh. for Liam uh, to sing, and I'd kind of dropped a hint to Bonehead, but uh, I never actually asked Liam directly to to be on it. So I sung it myself, right. you know. But I wrote it. Um, me and Bonehead toured the UK and Ireland, and we did a lot of drinking at the time, and uh, we were drinking whiskey in a in a hotel and doing a, a lot of silly dances and stuff like that. So we're saying Bonehead was wearing a wig and. <laughs> And uh, it was good. Good. It was a good laugh, you know. Uh, it was a whole tour of drinking. Uh, I don't advise it. But uh, and Bonehead was uh, telling me a story about Liam and stuff like that, you know. And it was quite. I, I could tell, you know, that he was really meaning it, you know. And it, it was quite a personal thing. And they're really close, Liam and Bonehead, mm -hmm. you know. And you know, it, it just kind of actually happened that I, I wrote a song about that, you know. Uh -huh. He was kind of talking about and. Uh, I recorded it with you, you know. So uh, I've not. I didn't ask Liam directly to sing on it because I. I don't think I could handle two knockbacks from my, my sure. peers. You know what sure, I mean? Sure. But um, maybe next time we know. You know. Uh, yeah. So Pete, you're coming to play here in the loft on the thirtieth of January. First gig of the year. It's going to be a pleasure to have you here. I think it's going to be an incredible gig. What can people expect about a gig? Obviously, you're bringing Rob Allen from Las Vegas, um, so it's a wee bit of a different twist on your your songs, and you're going to play some songs for a new record and everything as well. Well, the first half will be songs from the first album, uh -huh. uh, and to kind of make it interesting for me, I asked Rob if he wanted to to, to play on some of the songs, sure. you know, which he, he kindly said yes to. Uh -huh. So Rob will be coming along with me. Um, Las Vegas are a great band, you know. They've had Great success coming from Glasgow, Scotland. They've they've toured the world. You know, they've released great music, and uh, I, I really respect James Allen as a songwriter. You know, and and rap as well as a guitar player. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's exciting to, to be working with rap. You know, and coming out and playing my songs. Then the second half uh, of that set will be songs from the, the new recordings we give. Okay, pretty much. So I think we're going to tie it in as well. We can ask the house set afterwards as well. We should, we should be nice, you know. Okay. That'd be great. You're going to showcase him, Pete. When is people going to be able to buy us on an album? Are they going to be able to see some releases this year, or singles, videos, all that type of stuff? Um, well, at the moment you can you can hear Minotaur, which is on SoundCloud just now, yeah. and there's a couple of remixes as well um, from the the same song, uh, but obviously the different kind different of takes. take on it. Um, and there's also a song on my website called I Need Your Love uh -huh. uh, that's free to download just now so go and download it <laughs> <laughs> um, PeteMcLeod.net that's the website um, releases I'm in a fortunate position for that's kind of up to other people just now you know I do like releasing music myself and just putting it out there um, but obviously 
Alan's involved and youth's involved and stuff. Alan starting up, started up a new record label too. And uh, so it's kind of, I'm not sure what's going to happen, what's going to get released, but I'm hoping something will be released yeah. before the summer. The venue, it was great um, that you came along uh, to watch um, a bee movement playing on um, uh, Boxing Night, which was our first gig band. This is a great venue, yeah. actually. Um, a lot of people in Greenham don't even know this exists here. Mm. In the 70s, this place was called The Red Line. They had a number of different bands. Um, I need to kind of trace back, actually, the bands that played here and stuff, like Average White Band and stuff played here as well. And so I think it'd be great to put us on the map as a, as a great music venue. And just come back, obviously, as again, saying, you know, appreciate your support, come to watch a band, you know, and I think you've offered the guys a bit of platform with Stepping Stone, which is... Um, a platform again that you tied in with creation sessions for Scottish new music artists to, to release um, some songs on. Um, you know, certainly the ma- the bands I manage, obviously Blue Winners, Jamie, before he joined them, um, done a song on it, the Beat Room done a song on it, uh, with Paul Jamie Coleman for Glasgow, and, and more recently um, uh, Lindsay as well, Lindsay Trey. Kieran um, Fisher. Ah, Kieran Fisher mm-hmm. as well, of course. Sorry, could, how could I forget? Well, <laughs> <laughs> Kieran, you know. Mm-hmm. You know, so. Um, Thanks for that, Pete, you yeah. know. Um, it's a shared experience, isn't it? Sure. You know, I, I get it, you know, I'm, I'm still in the trenches like sure. everybody else sure. in many ways, and if there's other people listening to my music, you know, it's it's nice if they, they hear other people that are music that I like, uh-huh. you know, which is unsigned artists as uh-huh. well, unsigned artists. You know. Good stuff, Pete. Well, we very much look forward to having you here on the 30th, and uh, thanks for all your support to all the artists. Um, I hope that everybody in Greenock and Inverclyde comes along to watch Pete's gig. Um, it's the 30th of January, Saturday night. Uh, Rab Allen for Las Vegas is going to be playing on the bill. Bergie will be doing his bit on the decks as well. Got a DJ that's going to do an acid house set. There's going to be two acoustic sets, one for the Blue Laners and one for the Beat Movement. Um, and it's going to be an incredible night. Um, it's the opening party for the, for the club as well. Um, and what better way to um, kind of open the place early and welcome Pete McCoy to come and play along. Thanks very much for your time, Pete. I look forward to the set, okay? See you soon. Thanks, mate. Thank you.